Okay, now we are doing a comparison of the best investment. Yeah, which one is better? Which one is the better investment over a year or longer? So let's take, um, they say over a year, that is, it can be two years, it can be anything along. Um, 10%, compounded daily and 10.55 compounded monthly. So now we then let's focus on, on daily now. We will use the, the white pen on daily solution. So which one is the better investment over a year? one as the better investment over a year okay here it's compounded monthly so they are both compounded so let's go and write down our formulas this is the compound formula here we are comparing that's why I am I wanna do them simultaneous. Then now A here I will just say okay now let P be equal to hundred trend. I don't want to use X like I don't want to use variables because people might end up uh, getting confused and all that. So they say they said for over a year. So let's let n be equal to two years. The two years is over a year. Two years is over a year. I mean, it's longer than a year. So we, we are just taking two years. Like this example needs, I mean, this question or problem needs you to, to think out of the box. This needs you to think out of, out of the box. So, so yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Aish, what happened now? Let me fix that. Okay, we're well, back again. We're well, back again. Okay. Um, so here, let me say P is hundred one plus then I now in the place of I, um, remember I said this one is for daily. So I will have 10.5 percent which is equal to 10.5 percent 10.5 divided by 100 is equal to 0 comma 105 0 comma 105 divided by it's compounded daily so i'll divide by 365 days and raise that to the power of two years two years is equal to two times 365 days so a here is going to be 100 times 1 plus 0 0.105 divided by 365 all raised to the power 2 times 365 then now after 2 years this money will be one two three point three six four zero dot 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 therefore it will be one twenty three rand point thirty six cents this money after 
compounded uh, at this uh, rate compounded per day then now let's pick up some, some another color green let's pick green here so a is going to be equal to i will use the same value of p which is 100 one plus then in the place of i here this is compounded at a rate of 10.55 percent what is 10.55 percent is equal to it is equal to 0, 0, 0,1055 divided by it's compounded monthly so let's divide by 12 and here i have two years so i'll have two times there. So after two years, this money will be 100 times 1 plus 0 0.1055 divided by 12 all raised to the power of 20, 24. So it is 1, 2, 3, point three seven seven four dot 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 therefore it will be one two three cents 37 cents so which one is better is the better investment over a year or longer so in my conclusion i am not going to write my conclusion now in my conclusion um this one this one uh, this 10,55 percent per annum compounded monthly is the best or is the better investment after a year or longer. Since um, after two years, I know that I, I will get a hundred and twenty-two, a hundred and twenty-three comma thirty-seven cents. Whereas here I will get a hundred and twenty three comma thirty six cents. So the difference between the two is this one cent. However, thirty seven cents is better than thirty six cents because you will never know where you're going to need that one cent. So because this one um, is greater than this one by that one cent then this one is better than this one because this one is 37 is one cent extra than this one thank you very much i hope this video helps someone out there let's go to example four